All right, this video is about a GM 4.3 liter V6 used in a marine application. Uh, this video is going to be about the exhaust system and uh, the changes I'm making to it. Um, but first, uh, whenever I do work for somebody, I always like to give them their old parts back. So this was the old water pump impeller. You can see it was shot. I mean, it's probably working halfway because there's still some veins left, but a lot of them are chewed up. So you won't get full cooling out of that water pump, uh, out of that impeller. So there's a new impeller right inside there that I rebuilt this water pump. Um, second of all, uh, this is what's called a flapper. It's a flapper valve and it goes in the exhaust. It goes down that hole right there. And there's another one on this side that goes down that hole right there. You can see the hole where the pin goes. There, the flappers are right in there. So um, this was a good flapper that was left in. This is on the, uh, this is on that side of the engine. Um, but I found a technical service bulletin from Volvo that said to take these flappers out, that they're not, no longer, that they shouldn't be there or they're not required. And so it recommends you take them out. So I did. Um, and there's a good reason for that. Um, so these right here, that one, that one, and that one, are used melted flappers that I pulled out of the exhaust system down in the bottom of the, uh, uh, where the, it's called, I think, a bull, bullhorn, and the two sides join together in the middle and they go out the uh, outboard. The outdrive and in just inside the bell of the outdrive I found these three these three flappers so um, I had to take the bellows off and then get some special uh, long needle pliers to reach in there and grab them I got two of them out I think I got that one and that one out through the the hole where the bellows was but this one um, now I believe it was this one and this one and that one came out this one I couldn't get out I had to push it way back up in there and then I use some uh, mechanical, what do you call them? Uh, I don't see them right now, but I use some, uh, you know, about a 24 inch long mechanical grabber uh, device used to pick up tools you drop. And I reached down, I reached down that hole right there and was able to take, go around the bend and I grabbed a hold of it and pulled it out. I got lucky, I guess. But anyway, so I got all these flappers out. So now the exhaust is clear. There's no telling how long these melted flappers have been in there. Um, and they're not all made of uh, rubber. There's a rubber coating around some kind of looks like a either a plastic or fiberglass core. So they're not they're not uh, they're pretty stout. They don't break easy. So the exhaust is cleaned up. I'm about now to put the exhaust on. So what I was saying is that you can see the hole right there where the flapper was on this side. I'm not going to put a flapper back in, and I'm not going to put a flapper on that side either. And uh, I'm about to put these. Uh, these exhaust, uh, not sure what these are called, but uh, pretty sure that goes on that goes on that side. Because uh, usually people put the clamps in an accessible location. That would be if that was on if that if that was on this side of the motor, the clamps would be on the inside. It would be hard to get to. So I'm pretty sure that's the that's the uh, what I call the driver side of the engine. And there's the other one there that goes on the passenger side. So I'm about to put these on, and I believe they slip down past. They're what he, these uh, rubber clamps right here are what hold the pin in from sliding out. So I believe they go past the pin. See if I can see a, yeah, I see a spot about, it's hard to see it, but there's a little indentation right, right there where my thumb's at. And so that's probably what was holding the pin in before. So this rubber bellows, uh, or rubber uh, coupling will slide past those holes and cover them up. So they'll be good there. So. About to put these on, and then once I do that, I will be putting on the exhaust manifolds and uh, attaching these coolant hoses, and this thing will be almost running. So, about now, another hour, I should have this engine running and ready to go. Oh, except for the outdrive, which I got to install later. But uh, pretty soon, I'll have a video of this engine running, and I'll post it on YouTube so everybody can see the final conclusion of this project. Thanks for watching.